hi guys and welcome back to my channel well on today's video we're learning how to draw cam profile with an offset and please endeavor to subscribe to my channel very very important give the video a thumbs up 0 to 60 degrees well period 60 degrees to 180 lifts at 6 mm with simple harmonic motion 180 degrees to 360 degrees for to start position with simple harmonic motion Nearest approach of ruler center to cam center is 36 mm. Ruler follower 20 mm diameter. The follower line of action offsets 20 mm towards the right of the cam center line. Cam sharp diameter 24 mm. And this question alone carries 17.5 marks. With this, let's get to work. So, first of all, I will start by writing my parameters 0 to 60 degrees as well. This question actually starts with a dwell, so you come over with dwelling first. Then 60 to 180 degree lift and 180 to 60 degree fall. So it's dwell, lift, and fall. Now check the both motion are in SHM. So no change in motion, it's the same one motion for lift and fall. Lift is 36. The ruler center to come center is 38 mm and ruler follower is 20 mm in diameter. The offset is 20 mm towards the right. As in reduce and cam shaft diameter is 24 millimeter. All right, let's draw. So first of all, draw a circle using the cam shaft diameter. So diameter 24. We use radius of 12. That's divided 24 by 2, and draw the cam shaft. After doing that, if you remember the ruler center to cam center is 38. So pin again the center, which is 38, 38. That's 3.8 cm. Pin at the center and draw. As the last center to the cam center. The cam center is that center point we pin. Okay. I'm done with those two now. Now offsets is 20 millimeter. This is in radius and not diameter. Okay. 20 millimeter to the right is in radius. Put in the pin again at the center and draw the uh, offset circle. Okay. So I'll mark my center points and then draw a horizontal or uh, horizontal straight line to offset circle with that straight line i will draw a perpendicular line from that point here exactly straight up yes now at this point is where i will start my lift from okay i don't want the offset now lift is 36 millimeter from this point here i'll measure 36 that's 3.6 cm then i will have it divided by 2 i'll have 18 there's a reason why i'm having it okay i want to start going my motions First is well, 60 degrees. I count 60 degrees and draw. And this line falls only on the offset circle. Then we're having the lift which is 60 to 180. If I minus that, I'll be having 160 degrees, and the other one I'm having 180 degrees. So from that line, I'm moving 120 degrees. Okay, towards the swing. 120. Please take note of how I place my protector. Then I'll draw. Your line should all only be on the offset circle, okay? Only on the offset circle. Then the many parts of the one is degree, you can set to measure it. Sometimes the mass should be like that though, but just measure it. Now we are dividing each motion by six. Now remember the dual parts is not a motion, so we're not touching the dual part. We're starting with the lift and the fall. So if I'm dividing one twenty degree by six, I will have twenty. So I'll go to twenty degrees. Look at how I put the protector, okay, on that one twenty degrees line. Okay, so I haven't gone to 20 degrees each. Let me see the different divisions. I will join only on the offset circle. Okay, I'll do the same thing too for the 180 degree part because that is the fall part. So the one thing is falling and when it's lifting, there's a motion, there is moving. One thing is dwelling, like it's longer, it's a faster motion, so there's no changing whatsoever. So if I, if I divide 180 by 6, I will have 3, I have 30, I mean, so I'm going 30, 30 degrees each. That's 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and the rest. Okay. This is the easiest way to do, divide an arc into equal parts. Take notes, the constant division is always 6 equal parts, please. Alright, having done that, let's... Draw a follower now because the both are in simple harmonic motion, you will divide the follower using simple harmonic motion method that is the semicircle method. If the 
follow y is actually in uniform velocity by dividing this left side each uniform velocity method okay all right so basically that's how you do it please take notes if there's a change in motion then you will use um the method of division for that kind of motion so this is simple harmonic motion of lift division you in, in uniform velocity actually dividing it equally okay i will drop a video on the description part of this video you can learn a question concerning uniform velocity all right so having done that i'll pin my center pin at that ending point of that my division and draw a circle this circle will serve as the biggest circle of my cam profile so everything inside my cam should fall within this circle that is the ending point of my lift all right now having done that we're getting to a critical point now now i want to draw a perpendicular line to every line i drew on my offset circle making it perpendicular to it so on my first line i'll put my ruler then and place my set square you can you see the other 34 i mean to say any of them can't really go now go straight please take it gently next line okay i also go straight next line to the same thing so short lines just keep going perpendicular okay so i'll do it till the rest please if you're still watching the video by now i believe you're actually learning from this video ensure to give us thumbs up please like this video also drop comments on the comment section all this stuff that i'm actually telling you guys is actually helps the youtube algorithm in pushing the content small audience so please why also drawing to take note of these faint lines okay your drawing shape lines the only thick line should be the low chi that you draw after the whole thing so i'm basically still doing my perpendicular line for each and every one of them okay so if you actually have any questions pertaining to this, you can feel free to ask me a question on my WhatsApp number and it's on the screen. Okay, so let's do about zero, there is zero, okay? Zero, 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 because dwell, dwell, zero, zero. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, then five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, three, two, one, zero. Remember, those two dwell are constants, please. Dual number is always constant. Let's put number up to that dwell side, zero, zero, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. That is basically it. Okay, having done that, now I also number this part to my list. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'll pin at my center. Now I'll draw an arc from one touch one, one to one. I sent one to one, line one. That point two, two to two, two to two, at three. I go three to three, three to three. At four, I will go four to four, four to four. That's actually why your number is actually important. Five to five, two, five to five, five to five. Exactly. All right. Now I begin to mark all those points where this actually stopped. Okay. Where was I stop marking all those points? All right. After marking them, the um the car the ruler follower is 20 minute time diameter that is ready to be 10. so we read radius of 1 cm pin at all those points and draw circles now i'm actually trying to do small draw here sha i'm using radius and uh, diameter of 10 radius of 5 to draw the circle i actually, I don't actually like stress but by right we will measure 1 cm and pin at those points those center point there and draw the circle with radius of 10 diameter is 20 okay so i'll do it for every point that i marked please be careful while doing this okay most of the times if you give you the real, real diameter as 10 use this stuff i'm using okay it's already have a diameter of 10 okay now i'll mark the ta like just the tangent base of, of the down of the circle like just touch it here that downside it's like that exactly now with the french curve i will join all those points all the center all those tangents down in here those points actually max yes and um, if up to now you still don't know how to use the french curve 
uh, you can text me person on your whatsapp or i'll drop a, a video on the description of this video or check in the pin comments i'll pin a cool video on how you can learn how to use french code easily just this is um the working principle there make sure that at least three points connect before you draw three point connect before you draw and use the curve that fits that part and uh -huh, this part okay so this is basically how you do it so i'll do the same thing all around Okay. Last last part of this I'll join it. Yes, this is solution to the question. Alright, thank you guys for watching today's video and I hope to see you guys in our next episode.